Hi, this is Brandon from Heartland Marine. We just got in this 2006 Azure 238 Mile Rider. want to show you around it. We're going to lift it up, clean the bottom. I've yet to find a scratch or anything on the gel coat anywhere. Got a few scuffs in the stickers, the decals, nothing we can do about that. Maybe we could replace them. Uh, coming up to the front, you notice it's got vacuum lights, got them both on, they work. This boat only has 45 hours, one owner. It's hard to find about 45 hours. It's a one owner. It's hard to find one free of anyway. Uh, nice yellow, shines bright in the shop. Looks better on the water. So you see how sharp the front is. You know it's gonna ride good. It's coming with this nice tandem axle trailer. We got big heavy pop out cleats. Coming back here. It's a great cobalt boat. It's got an enormous extended swim platform on the back. Where you can fit a lot of people right here. It's also all diamond plated skid proof instead of the sand. So dual truck drive, easy to maneuver. Now this model is standard with a carbureted 5.0 Mercury. That's only 220 horse. So this is one, two, three steps above that. It's got the 350 mag MPI, 300 horse. We've got a nice ladder over here on the side with a handle to get up in it. Keeps everybody away from the out drive. Let's take a look at the starboard side here. Again, no scratches. Do a little mix in the stickers. That's essentially it. Now it does have the wakeboard tower with the speakers facing out. And it does have the bimini top. We just haven't put it on there yet. So come on in. Let's take a look. So once again, it's got a lot of room. It's got a nice raised tow rail. So when you're helping kids, throwing them out, you don't have to worry about the slide for the off. It's got a starboard side walkthrough transom. Back here we have stereo controls, tilt trim controls for the out drive. Now this is a great feature. If you want to sit on here, strap on some bindings for a newborn ski or rent board you can, or you can actually lay this flat for a great big sun bath. Jump it inside here. See, it's got a nice walk through. It's this brand was made by Bennington in this era, which are high end. So it's nice because every all the storage is built into the mold versus cut out. So it's fully finished fiberglass. Got a little shower here to wash off feet before they come into the boat. Once again, underneath the storage, it's all nice and finished. You have a cooler underneath this seat, storage underneath this seat. Nice cactus chairs with flip up bolsters. Got great big storage in the floor here. Again, it's all nice and finished. And then it extends up into here, so there's another storage there. It does have a pump out head, which is nice. Snap on covers, a table, decent amount of room in there. It's got a sink here. Coming up to the helm. We got kind of a little locking dry storage box here to keep your wallet in. Cup holder, stainless cup holder, compass, tilt steering, full instrumentation. Now again, this only has 45 hours on it. It's eight and a half feet wide, roughly 24 feet long. Another good thing about this boat is the weight. It's roughly 3,300 dry when you add the trailer to it and fuel. It's an easy boat to trailer. It's hard to find one this big. You can trailer with a small pickup and this is one of them because you're going to be even loaded up with gear under 4,500 pounds. So up here we got storage, interior lighting, place to roll up some towels, set them in there. Nice big wraparound windshield, nice heavy frame. Up in the bow, all nice wraparound seating. We've got an anchor locker, cup holders, storage underneath these, this seat, that seat. See how these hinge? Which, if you're a trailer boater, you'll like that because you don't have to throw them all up. And this is a step if you do some beaching with a built in ice chest beneath it. Take a look at 
the engine compartment real quick. So you have a ton of room in here. This is a 350 mag, once again, MPI, multi-port injected 350 Mercury's or V8. It's got the dual batteries with the switch. You know, you just turn the key. Turn the key, you don't choke the primer, wait for it to warm up, you just turn the key and go. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Can't think of anything else. I appreciate the opportunity. Come see it.